Hi everybody, Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release, 2020 Topps Allen and Ginter Baseball, 12 box, pick your team number one. We got Nick Jaspie helping us out. You can see him open up boxes right over there. We got a break credit promo here. If you bought at least two teams, right, you got a chance to win some break credit. So two teams gets you one entry, four teams, two entries, six teams, three entries, top five will get $50 break credit. If you only buy one team, you will not be entered, as it clearly states right there. Um, looks like uh, no veteran MLB comments will ship. They're all going to be donated to charity. There's one spot right here, which Sean Maddock won in uh, in one of our filler breaks. That yeah, one spot. Two in, uh, filler. There you go. No, second one will be in a filler soon as well. We'll get all the non-MLB, non-baseball cards shipped to that non-sport spot including like Joe Burrow autographs, the celebrity autographs, all the fun animal inserts and terrifying spider inserts and whatnot. There you go. So on the 16th, 12 box, pick your team one, 2020 Allen and Ginter baseball. There you go. Thanks for joining everybody. Yeah. Here's an oversized box loader in here. Good luck. And it's going to be Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice. There you go. Let's just set these safely aside over here. I'll take half a box. There's some triple rip. Wow, that's crazy. All right, so that's obviously non-sport spot. What happened? Look at that. Open the pack and look at that. Aww. Sounds like a die cut or something. So the mini rolled around and then like the wrapping machine got, totally got yeah. Bent. I'll bet the mini was sticking out and then the wrapping machine bended it up. All right. We've got some jade here. There you go. we got some fun, precious stones. Yeah, I know. Sorry, folks. We're using, we're using a backup camera, so apologies for the quality. All right, all these minis flying around here. Sometimes they could be hand numbered, so I'm going to set those minis aside in a stack there, and then we'll take a look at all the ones on the back. So there's an insert set that says that's uh, nine ways to get to first. There's a booming city, Shanghai. Those will go to the non-sport spot because they're just baseball plays, not actually assigned to Ooh, a pro off. team. Oh yeah, nice. All right, and there's Michael Confino, right, Joe? Yeah, problems with the uh, with the main cam. There's Michael Conforto, piece of his lumber going to Rick Serrano and the Mets. What can you pull from Alan and Ginter? What can't you pull? It should be the more appropriate question. What can't you pull? Minis, rip cards, fun inserts, celebrities, autographs, relics. You can get the ocean where monsters live. That's terrifying. Yeah, this is a, it is a lot of fun. You got a hand cramp? I, I stretched. I was ready to go, but I guess. Uh oh. Uh oh. D D L. You can, oh boy. You get a call in the righty. Call to the bullpen. They have much time as they need to warm up. Look at this. Down on the farm, a dog. Look at that dog. 
Yeah, the where monsters live, I don't even want to think about that. Some of them it is... Under your bed. Under your bed was terrifying. In your closet. The room under the... The cupboard under the stairs. The basement. Backseat All right. your car. So apologies. John Means. He must have got caught up in that machine there. And wow. A Mike Trout rip card. That is 79 out of 99. Don't rip him. Jim Bly with the Angels. You have the option. I would, would not. Don't rip my crowd. <laughs> That's against one of the cameras. All right. That's pretty nice. And then his teammate Otani right here. Is this the second half? And that's a new box? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So here's the second half. Yeah, some of the corners aren't perfect. I don't know. Yeah, some of the corners aren't perfect. They must be, must be rattling around a little bit in the... Uh... Look at that, under the... That's terrifying. This is a terrifying set. Yeah, Joe P is right. Yeah, Joey, this is this is certainly not for everybody. The people that love it, love it. I mean, this, this stuff pre-orders that were selling like hotcakes. There is a group of people that really love it. I personally really like it. There's a lot of goofy stuff. Cubs Relic going to Matthew. So this is the second half of that box that we had, the first box that we started with. Field General, JT Real Muto. Wow, more where monsters live. The swamp. That's good. Look at that swamp monster right there. Jesus. Call to the bullpen? You, you, had, you had to stretch. You just went in there cold. Oh. <laughs> Take a little break. Stretch out those hands. Come, come back. Oh, are they thick packs? We got silver. Oh, and another mini flying out here. Mike Fulton Evitz. Oh, are there. Do they hide creepy monsters in that little set? Oh, boy. Now I don't even want to know. Oh, we got terrifying bugs here. The leaf cutter ant. Those pincers. Man, they can, they can mess you up. I like those buildings, too. Those are a lot of fun. All right, let's check the backs for hand numberings. We see that sometimes. Remember there was that, that goofy one here, sorry. Oh my God, look at that. You can kind of see that shadow right there too. <laughs> Oh, that just gave me the chills. That is terrifying. I'm going to have nightmares tonight. The one with Attic just has eye. Oh. Oh, oh look at that, that, that octopus monster right there. Terrifying. Here is another box right here along with another box topper. Oh, they glow in the dark too? I think there are spiders in the bug series. I'm not looking forward to that. So, a huge cock? Yeah. A peacock? Yeah, back to back huge cocks. Uh, Peacocks, that is. Wow. There is Kelsey Cook, who is a comedian and professional foosball player. What's up, Rex? What's going on? There you go. Uh, maybe a piece of her shirt that she wore when she was foosballing. Right, right. We were talking about peacocks, Sophie. Exactly. Family show, ladies and gentlemen. Easy. 
All right. These are all considered inserts, so they will ship. The, the bright fronts there. There's Miguel Sano, Twins Relic, going to Chris Bowman. That's a hot box, by the way. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah, these will all ship. Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Cow. Give both Ben Ballers up. Uh, no. All right, now they are up. There's nine ways to get to first. A batted ball hits another runner before a fielder touches it. Yes, that can happen. See, so it doesn't have an MLB affiliation on that That'd be non-team spot. Platinum. Guriel. If you have the non-sport spot, you get all the non-sport cards. None of them are donated. All of them. Oh! And look at that. A Gavin Lux Mini Auto with Shun Yamaguchi in the back there. Nice. That is Kevin like with the Dodgers. Yeah, that frame design looks really sharp, too. Nice one. Well, I do like when they put palm trees in There you go. Nice, Kev. Ooh. Star Shortstop. Of the Dodgers. Shortstop, huh? Corey Seager might have something to say about that. Kelsey Cook. Are we looking at Kelsey Cook? Yeah. Is she easy the on the... daughter of international yo-yo champion. What? And now she's a foosball champion? Yeah. She has a humor-filled life at a young age. Huh. She's made her debut on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Wow. And a little late, late with Lily Singh on NBC. Hmm. Ooh, look, this is terrifying. A dark tunnel where monsters live. Looks like she does stand-up comedy as well. Hmm. Maybe she looks on her, go, go see one of her stand-up shows post-pandemic. Be careful not to let those minis slide out. You also have to check the backs, remember? No, yeah, no, I did that with the first box. Sometimes you're getting too many like this. Is that a mistake or is that just hot box? I don't know. Cow. The backs smell weird, that's for sure. Hmm. Maybe they used a different chemical this year. I think they used a different factory since oh. the, uh, the one they usually use is closed for a couple months. Nice castle right here. Chicken. I wish Katie Nolan was in here, hanging out with us. No, I'm gonna get her. Oh, 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 <laughs> right? I mean, what? <laughs> maybe, maybe next year. Maybe next year, Katie. Come hang out with us, Katie. Rip some baseball cards with us. Talk sports. Let me buy you an ice cream. It's just because of COVID. And a burger. Right? What? It's because of COVID she's not here. Right, exactly. Otherwise, she totally would be. Look at that. The cave and the creepy eyes. Wait, Ludacris is in here? Yeah, Luda's in here. Barn. Who's Courtney Hansen? Don't know. Who's Chip Gaines? D Chip and Joanna Gaines? Who are them? What? Who is that? Fixer Upper? Who's Chip and Joanna Gaines? Oh, Fixer Upper? On HGTV, they have their own network now. They have the... They have all that Magnolia stuff at Target. Oh man. I don't know what a chip game is. Oh boy. They they're gonna get their own network called Magnolia. R.L. Stein author. R.L. Stein. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. And Terrifying. why does every big author only? Why do they go by their initials? 
I don't know. Stephen King does. Well, no. J.K. Tolkien, right? <laughs> Who's the J.R.R. Tolkien. Who's the Game of Thrones guy? J.K. Rowling. J. K. Harry Rowling. Potter. Who's the and then, Game uh, of Thrones guy? Yeah, that's R.L. R. R. Martin. Why do they all got those initials? Yeah, I don't know. So maybe I need initials? And then you'll become a yeah. famous author. Be like J.L. Jaspi, and then, then I'll be a famous author. Who's Jeff Dye? Is that a... Is that's, that, that's Jermaine Dye's brother. Is that the White Sox Jermaine Dye's brother? <laughs> I don't know who... I don't know who that person is. Oh, these are dangerous. All the minis. Paul Rudd is in here? Paul Rudd's in there. Ah. Oh, it's George R.R. R. Martin. Yeah, that's what I said. You said George R.R. R. Martin. <laughs> Disrespecting Game of Thrones. Although he'll never finish last book, so... Why, why is he not pig? I don't know. Why is he not, uh... I don't know. He's like 83, and he's just not going to do it. He's just not going to... He's going to live a series on his... Wow, just hanging? Yeah. So what are we... Oh, boy. Here comes Sean. You stick to sorting, Sean. No peanut gallery today. Peanut gallery is loud over there. Yeah, a lot of, lot of peanuts back there. I know, sewer I drain. Game of Thrones with any of them, Sean. So. That that's that's where the that's where it lives in the sewer. Man, that's a terrifying movie. Who's Hugo Juice Tandron? I don't know that person. A baseball barber? What does that mean? He cuts hair as a baseball. Hairs player? for ball players? Does he does he do maybe he does Bo Bichette's hair? Who's a Justine Seagal? Don't know. Is that is that Jason 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 Seagal's Steven there's a combine on the Rob farm. Rob Friedman is pitching ninja, right? Uh, yeah, that's pitching ninja He's on in, Twitter. I don't know what Maria Pepe, baseball pioneer. Oh, Jason's gonna rip an A Rod card on Instagram. Someone wants it, wants him to rip it. I feel like that's risky. Wow. Danny McBride is in here. Mm -hmm. cool. The non sport list has some stables. Some really good stuff. I mean, Paul Rudd is the name. There's, there's an irrigator. And there he is. Pitching analyst. Friedman. Rob. Scary. Is he doing it? At Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram Live. If you're watching live, if you're re-watching this, then you can uh, just check us out some other time live. And there will be a recap at the end. So if you got to this part and be like, man, I don't feel like watching an hour-long break, you can fast forward to the end. If you're rewatching this, and there'll be a recap, autograph and relic recap, among other interesting notes, notables, will be at the end. All right, this caterpillar is okay. Not freaked out by that. That card is gold. Some of you will get that reference. Someone asked an Instagram stream, what's Daddy's Jaspie's number? <laughs> he, wants to, he wants to call the store or they want our personal they number? They should get you help these days to do this. How, what, does that person know our, the back end of our operation? I guess like tag stacking they mean, but it's kind of hard to tag stack. Oh on yeah, it's kind of hard to tag stack on Instagram. No, no, no Mike Jasperson bounty. And he's not in, the boss man is not in Ginter this year. He was a few years ago. We have, we still have some of those cards laying around at the shop. 
the extra, the extra ones. Oh yeah, when you're talking about when I pulled uh, one in a million rupees. <laughs> yeah, Nick pulled his own dad. And then we had a bounty, and that was the first day, and that was the first box. Did right, 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 right. And we just had to work hard. Tops rigged it. Tops rigged it. Somehow they knew. All right, we got these these little cards here as well. All right, good luck. Next box. How many did he sign? I forget. Fifteen. And then they let him keep like a stack of blanks. Just had extras, I guess. There's one in the showcase right now. Yeah, I saw that. At the very end. Oh, and there's Chip Gaines from Fixer Upper, man. Chip and Joanna Gaines from Waco, Texas. Come on. You guys are great. I like Property Brothers. Property Brothers? Come on. Are they rivalries? I don't know. Maybe. But it doesn't even hold a candle. Pro Property Brothers? Property Brothers. Chip and Joanna Gaines, I mean, they're, they're a team. Chip does all the demo, and then she does all the computer redesign stuff. They basically ripped off Fix... Property Bros rip off F Fixer Upper. Which came first? I don't know which came first. I think Fixer Upper came first. I'm a House Hunters person. Suzanne House Hunters is pretty good. House Suzanne Hunters Wayne. Good. We got Vlad Guerrero Jr. Relic going to the Blue Jays Max with the Vlad. Rest in peace. Okay. Oh, I thought you were talking about Vlad. And I was like, original, host of, uh, original host of House Hunter. Is she really? Yeah, House Hunter is international. What happened? Show. Scuba diving accident? Oh, that's terrible. Come on. Don't do that. That's, I don't want that. I want. He's ripping it. I think it's just a mini. Just a, just a short print mini. Oh, who? No, it's a metal. Metal card. Really cool. Those are At Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram. Out of five or less. Mike Tower, years ago you sold a Jose Canseco card on eBay to Jose Canseco's former bodyguard? A Jose Canseco rip card? It's pretty funny. And then there's a chicken. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg came first. How did, how did the egg come first if there was no chicken? Yeah. No, the chicken came first, you're right. How is there a chicken? If, what, how did the chicken come because the chicken evolved from like a microorganism into another organism that can lay eggs. Boom. If you believe in that sort of nonsense, evolution. The ocean, terrifying, octopus, or giant squid or something like that underneath. I'm not afraid of the ocean. No, I'm not really. I love swimming in the ocean. No, but please, some people are like. You know, some people like are like. like if you can't I don't want to. I don't want a don't shark. Wanna, yeah. Don't want it oh yeah. Like the fear of getting lost in the ocean. I think that'd be kind of cool. To be honest, I've seen cast a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know what to do. Remember those guys that that uh, went off course in the ocean, in the middle of the Pacific, and they landed on this to avoid a storm. They landed on this desert island and literally wrote out SOS in rocks on the beach, and they got found. Remember that, the, that that one kid from America who went to that island that's still uninhabited or whatever? Oh, right, right, right. Off Sri Lanka? Yeah. And then just... Off of India, and then they just got murdered. Right. And then the Can't U.S. government was like, sorry, bud. No, you're not supposed to go there. You're not supposed to go there. There's Scott. That's more dangerous. With the Luis Korea. Robert. Yeah, Chris Bryant's pretty solid laser. hundred times more dangerous than North Korea. That island? Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to go there. And they kill you with sword. At least North Korea will kill you with a gun. Yeah. And there's uh, Jared Carabas, a baseball writer. I don't know where he has stars in his shirt or something like that. I've never heard of this guy. 
Oh, for you for bar stool. <laughs> That's right, big rig. Bar stool, thanks, BD. Did Mike Tyson fight a shark? Didn't he fight a shark in Shark Week? I don't know if I missed that. Remember when Steve Phelps raced a shark, but it was just an animated shark? But they made it seem like he was racing a real shark in real life. At least I got fooled. <laughs> I really shouldn't have, but... Here's the farmer. You ever watch Babe, Nick? The movie with the dog? With the pig, yeah. With that will do. That will do. There's a dog in it, too, right? There's a dog. There, I mean, there are dogs in it, but the main feature I think is the Babe, dog's one of the, Babe the pig. Protagonists, right? well, that's the pig who acts like a dog. What's the one. What's the. That will do, pig. That will like do. Beethoven? Beethoven? I haven't seen that in a while. It's pretty classic, though, say, isn't it? Would you say Beethoven's the main character of the film? Oh, absolutely. Who's the other actor? Who knows? Jim Belushi? Nah. Who knows? Oh, there's a hand-numbered card right here. Roger Clemens. That's why we checked the backs. Who's, who's in Beethoven? I don't know. It's the dog. That's all you care about is the dog. Isn't it the mom from Cheaper by the Dozen? Mm. Yeah. Oh, no. Yes, oh, says Jackie. Oh, oh okay. I'm there good. you go. I'm good. There you go. Oh, and then it's also the... Oh, no. I feel like the dad is a famous character actor. The dad is Charles Grodin. I feel like he he's in a lot of stuff. He's not age. 23 out of 25 85. on that one. Yankees edition as for Rick Serrano. I don't know why I set this farmer aside, but... All right, should we open up some of these? Guess how much... Uh... They made eight Beethoven? We got Walker Bueller. They made eight Beethoven movies? <laughs> Jesus. Beethoven, Beethoven second. Is there a Beethoven fourth? in space? And There's they, Walker Bueller. They have uh, Beethoven's Treasure Tale. They have Beethoven's yeah. Christmas Adventure and Beethoven's yeah. Big Break. Wow. Is Beethoven still with us? Uh, no. 1992. Oh, no, yeah, that dog's dead. But does he have, like, has he sired other Beethovens to do more Beethoven that's movies? True. That's like Air Bud. <laughs> oh, Air Bud's <laughs> dead. I don't like thinking about that. It's so sad to think about. I don't, I don't like thinking about Air Bud being dead. But I think, I think Airbud may have sired some Science some. Spent like hundreds of millions of dollars yeah, just to clone Airbud. How to preserve Airbud? Like Essence, yeah. You should just clone Airbud. Jordan Alvarez, box topper. So Pete Alonso, Mets, Rick Serrano, Jordan Alvarez, Scott, and the Astros. Ooh, nice, Rick. Yeah, the Rocket, Rocket Roger Clemens. Your Brad L's cousin was in the first Air Bud movie? As like what? Like in the background or That's cool. speaking lines or what? There's Mike Trout for the Halos, Jim Bly. You also get that, that rib card from earlier too, Jim. Let's get some more stacks here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that with Scarlett Johansson? No. What's the Woody Allen movie with Scarlett? I don't know if he's ever done a movie with Scarlett Johansson. I think he did. I think it was a tennis movie. Midnight in Paris? No, that's a good movie. Oh, uh, she was in Vicky Cristina Barcelona. No, it wasn't that. I didn't see that. She is in that. I don't know why you're saying it. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I, I just haven't seen oh, it. Okay. I'm not saying she's not in it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying I haven't seen it. I heard it's good, though. You did whatever works with Larry David. Is it Match Point, maybe? Oh, a small speed. Oh, it's Match Point. There you go. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe Scoop? Scoop? I did not see Scoop. Isn't that of a... Of she did a lot with Scarlett Johansson. I wonder why. I am. Creep. Good filmmaker, though. Cast him in every season. Good filmmaker. It got the perfect role for you. Yeah, well, she's my muse. Uh, I think so far the biggest pull is probably the, either the Gavin Lux autograph or the the Mike, Mike Trout. Trout rip card. Yeah, and we've got another autograph, Dan Vogelbach for the Mariners. That's gonna be for Dan G. Ooh, Homeward Bound is great, Danny. That's a great movie. Never heard of it. Homeward Bound? Where the, the two dogs and the cat 
get left behind on a family camping vacation, have to make their way back across the talk? American wilderness. Do they to, talk? They, oh, they talk. I don't, I don't mess with an, real animals talking. They don't, but their mouths don't move. They, it's like, it's like internal narration. Oh, then I, what's that move? Oh, I no, I don't want their mouths moving. Yeah, that's, no, I don't that's mess dumb. With the mouths moving. Yeah, don't, yeah, their mouths shouldn't move. Their oh, mouths, like their internal thoughts. Their mouths don't move. I think I have seen that. Michael J. Fox is one of the voices. I think I had that on VCR. Homebound? Yeah, Homeward Bound. You'll see. Look at the cover. You'll see. You'll be like, it's yeah. like the one where they go on a hot air balloon. What? No. You know what movie I cry at is uh, Snow Dogs. Is that with Cuba Gooding Jr.? Yeah. <laughs> I've not seen that. You've never seen Snow Dogs? I've not seen Snow Dogs. Oh, my God. That's a much like the man, the man won an Oscar, and then he was doing Snow Dogs like three years later. Why are you laughing at that? It's I don't know. It's just like Disney I Disney classic. I felt like he shouldn't have gone from Jared Maguire to Snow Dogs in like five years. I don't know. I just expected more out of Cuba. Really Although he did play OJ, right? That was that was really good. He was good in OJ. He also did something really bad. Oh, is that why? He did something not great. Horse. Yeah, not great. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Ryan Howard mini. Homeward Bound's pretty good. Homeward Bound's pretty good, especially if you uh if you're feeling a little under the weather, maybe you get a chicken soup, some mac and cheese, some comfort foods, and then you're just like, just curl up in bed and watch a little Homeward Bound. And you're like, oh man, are these dogs ever going to get back to their owners? Why did they leave them? The owners are freaking out. Safari sights the hyena. Mufasa. Ooh. The attic, that's, look at that, that's creepy. Look at that old doll just sitting on that chair. Mm-mm. That doll probably comes to life. Oh. Yeah, that's terrifying, Joe P. Oh. Mm-mm. Creepy doll that comes to life. Stalks you in your house. No thanks. Long ball lore, Bellinger. Got George Brett mini for Kip. He's looking for a George Brett rip car. There's corn stocks. There's a Roldis Chapman for the Bronx Bombers, Rick Serrano. I don't know, these, these stone cards don't thrill me as much as I thought they would. There's a uh, What's the Haps? J.A. Haps. That goes to the Yankees, Rick. With that relic. Got a bit of the pinstripe right there, which is pretty cool. Joe Maurer. Mm, nice. I'm trying to do the McNabb rainbow, but there's just so many. All right. Base on balls is another way to get to first. One of the nine ways. Here's a cock right here. <laughs> it's rooster. Cock of the walk. Cock of the walk, baby. I hate roosters. You don't like roosters? I hate them. Why? Because everyone always associates them with like waking you up in the morning. Sure. That's some of the worst times yeah. of life. Being <laughs> Just being woken up by it's this like loud seagulls. rooster. Like, why do people like seagulls squawking? 
No one likes seagulls. You put some of these, uh, you know, like the calm mask on, and you put the beach setting on. Oh, them, and I see. You don't. Seagulls you don't like it. the seagull. That's not relaxing. Some people like the sound of a, a sea, of an ocean have, bird. Some people have roosters as their alarm. That's that that's that's madness. Why do that's you're just and fooling yourself. Roosters also serve no purpose in the animal triangle. What are you talking about? No purpose. They have to they have to get with the hens. Like this. Yeah, to, to and you know what? you know. To produce just more to hang out? What do you more, mean? To produce more chickens? Mm. There's a silo. Just a random silo. Anyone know why barns are painted red? When I did my uh, road trip to the Field of Dreams, I went through the Wisconsin countryside. A lot of barns painted red. I thought that was just like a, a cartoon thing. That's a Midwest thing. But it's definitely red. But is there a point to it? Is there like a practical point to it? In, or is it just New tradition? York, none of the barns are painted red. No, no barns in New York are painted uh, red. Here's why barns are painted red. Creepy. Oh. New England settlers didn't have enough money to paint their farms. Okay. So they needed a cheap way to protect their barns' wood. So oh, it's a wood milk, thing. milk, lime, and red iron oxide. Make a red plastic-like coating. Huh. The coating protected the wood and kept barns warmer in the winter. Wow. So, so there is a it is an East Coast thing too. There is a practical purpose. Here's another hand-numbered card right here, Michael Brantley. Who, who's who's uh, whose job do you think it is to hand number these cards? Michael Brantley, Mini for the Astros, Scott R. CEOs. A CEO does it? Like the guy we met? Michael He's Eisner. Eisner. All right, there's the mini right there, hand number 23 out of 25. Oh, this is terrifying. The scorpion fly? Why do you have. Why should scorpions even fly? That's terrifying. The scorpion fly has curved tail that looks like a scorpion stinger. It's actually the male's claspers for mating. Jeez. Scorpion fly. Chris Bryant. No thanks on the scorpion fly. Get scorpion flies out of Yeah, get them out. I'd, I'd take a murder for <laughs> Tony Gwynn. Relic for Michael A. and the Padres. The Friars. Who are an out away from losing to my Dodgers 7 4. There's a lot. There's the barn we were talking about. Do, 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 do. That's right, Mike Tower. Knowledge. Here at Jaspies, we're all about the knowledge. I'm going to start piecing barns. <laughs> Matt Barnes. Austin Barnes. Austin Barnes. And the barns. barn set in, in Allen and Ginter. Yeah. We've got uh, Alex Gordon for the KC Royals. That's going to be for Kip and KC. There you go, there's the terrifying ocean. That giant squid's hanging around there, that would Peacock, be terrifying. Roosters. What? Oh, maybe collecting. Brad, maybe some Brad Peacocks? Yeah, ooh, Brad Peacocks. What if there's a Brad Peacock Peacock card? You think, someone asked this last night, you think they'll do Mosaic Baseball? Took them so long to do mosaic football, but yeah, maybe next year they're just like all in on the mosaic brand. This, this year was the first year of mosaic basketball. Too. The no, they did. They did prison mosaic. mosaic. Oh, okay, right, right. That'll do, pig. That'll do. It was also not a traditional release of on my own. Oh. Hmm. The first year, because replay basketball was the worst product ever made in history, so they felt so bad that they gave oh, that customers a... who bought that prison mosaic. Oh, I see. All right. 
We got Luke Voigt. Hasn't he been crushing the baseball lately? Yankees, Rick Serrano with a piece of Luke Voigt's lumber. And there's the third and final out. Dodgers win 7-5. to five. In a bullpen, in a weird bullpen game for the Dodgers, which I kind of don't like going into... Going into uh, Colorado, I think, is their next game. Scott uh, got the White Sox straight up. He'll get all these Luis Roberts, which I'm sure will do well on a secondary market. If you find an autograph of his, I'll leave, probably do even better on the secondary market. Yeah, Luke Voigt, possible MVP candidate? Yeah. Dark Tunnel? That also looks like a scene out of It in, the, in, the, in, the, in their sewers. Gotta watch out for the mini cards. That's creepy under the bed. Uh, Brandon Lau, or is that Nate Lowe? I don't know. No, I don't know if I could tell them apart, to be honest with you. It's Brandon Lau. His teammate Nathan goes by Nathan Lowe. Additional trivia. Oh, I got to watch the. Maybe, maybe uh, Rob, Rob will have it on Pitching Ninja. He's in this set. Maybe it'll have that Dustin May striking out the last batter in the seventh. I was only half watching. We were There's the attic. That's terrifying. They should put Kyle Farmer in that farm set. <laughs> There's Tanzania. Is that from Tanzania? Maybe? Yeah, sure is. Oh, let me look at the backs of these. All right. The monarch butterfly is beautiful. There you go. Ronald Acuna Jr. And there's Scott Kingery for the Phillies. Piece of his jersey going to uh, Dan G. And the Phillies. Smith, two for four, three RBIs, a double. Nice. There is Safari Sites, the lion. Yeah, the centering is definitely weird on the Safari ones. Roar. There is Courtney Hansen. That's what she's all about. That card is gold! Cow. Tim. Tim. Aroldis. And horse. Whoa. Whoa. 
Whoa! Back from the dead? All right, no hand numbering there. It's like the same height, so that's cool. Is it? Yeah. Similar. Yeah, it's a little you lower. You can tilt it up and down. Mm -hmm. I think you can make it a little taller too. You can probably probably put a couple of filler cards in here and make it a little bit taller. Into the clamp. Yeah. Maybe. Is that too dangerous? Like if that clamped onto that. We'll just leave it alone for now. Maybe a wood block. Maybe your dad could cut us a little wood block. But wouldn't the clamp slip? I know that's one. That's actually what I'm looking for. Sometimes you could put a wood block there. I've yeah, seen in some shops. Some wood shops. Like a quarter of an inch one or half an inch one. Because this, there's a hole in here, you know, so you'd have to put it. I could try it out. Yeah, I mean, it'd probably be like the size of a top loader, really. Maybe a little bit bigger. Be like, boop. And that makes it just a tiny bit higher. We'd have to see it on camera. Right. Let's grab that. All those little mini cards. Bale of hay. Booming city. All right, yeah, it's all it's all mixed up now. But there will be a recap at the end, folks, of the hits and the numbered cards and whatnot, and other other. Uh, oh, there's a garden right there. We've seen a garden yet. Oh, I haven't seen, we haven't seen this one. An old trunk where monsters live. Mm -mm. No thanks. Avoid old trunks at all costs, especially if you're like in a castle or something like that, folks. Or an old, old mansion. You gotta avoid the old trunk. And behind Bo Bichette, there's another mini card right here. That's Aaron Judge. A little static holding that. Is uh, Adam Odovino for the Yankees. Rick Serrano with the Bronx Bombers. Not having their first names kind of throw me off a little bit. Then I'm just like, wait, what are their first names again? And there's Mitch Garver. Relic for Chris and the Twins. There's a lion cub. Aw. Chicken. And Miguel Sano for the Twins. Another one for Chris. Did 
Verdugo in his Red Sox gear. I don't think I've seen him in a Red Sox gear yet. At least not on a... I haven't on TV, but not in a set. Under the stairs. Scary. Look at this. The, the thorn bug. There you go. A scourge on fruit tree growers. Oh man, they pierce plant tissue and suck out the sap. Jerks. <laughs> Leave that fruit alone. And a red ink autograph. That's uh, Tiaro Estrada. Yankees are doing excellent in this break, Rick. Red ink auto, 8 out of 10. Rick Serrano. Nice. With a set that has thousands of cards per box, to get an out of 10 is pretty awesome. You're welcome, Rick. All right, so nothing numbered there. Oh, nice. Thank you, Nick. All that's taken care of now. So let's just fly through these cards. Just made like an hour and a half break, maybe an hour and 15 minute break. So a big thanks to Nick. Or hour 45 minute break, maybe. Probably shave 30 minutes. the old trunk again and Matt Carpenter for Rick Serrano one of his last bought mojo teams in the Cardinals Bananas? Johnny Bananas? The winningest contestant in the history of MTV is the challenge. Hmm. Silver. Dark Tunnel. And Elvis Andrews. Texas Rangers going to Rick Serrano. Picked him right this time, Rick. That's good, good, good team picking and pick your team number one. We got some more in the store, folks. Check it out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Ah, that's terrifying too. A cave and you've got those those eyes looking at you. And another framed autograph. 
No, Frame Relic, Aaron Judge. More Yankees. That goes to Rick. Can use that. Rick with the good team picks. Oh, I missed the replay of that pitch. Praying Manta. Ah, praying Manta is not that terrifying. It's all right. Kevin Garnett. Hands off the glass, KG. Dog. Let's take a look at the backs of these. You're actually hearing some Nomar in the background. He works for the Dodgers Network. Almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for your patience. These breaks are a little on the longer side, but we got some pack stacking help, which was huge. Sorry about that. These minis sometimes sneak around in there. And we've got a Ronald Acuna Jr. mini framed autograph for Scott and the Braves. Nice looking card, Scott. little stacks here. And then all of the box toppers here. I think maybe a couple boxes here, so good luck, everyone. There's the farmer. That'll do, pig. And Colton Wong. I think he has a, he has a brother that the Dodgers used to have. That goes to the Cardinals. That's for Rick. I think he was involved in the bets trade, maybe. An old trunk, terrifying.
the cheetah, safari sites. Bale of hay. The clo I don't think we've seen the closet yet. Look at those two eyes peering out of there. That's terrifying too. Mm. And we've got Eugenio Suarez for the Reds, Rick T. Different Rick. Luis Roberts. Bogarts. He's giving like a side eye to someone here. Drop third strike is another way to first. There's the closet again. Someone was saying that they're uh, they glow in the dark. It's a great beer right there. There's a uh, Gene Segura for the Phillies. That'll be for Dan. rookie here in the frame it's Bobish oh, I was hoping it was gonna be an autograph uh, that is for Max and the Bluebirds gets the Bobachet relic mini relic in the frame the frames look really cool says that's my cow anyone else have a good cow let's hear it Good garden noise. And there's a Kenley Jansen relic for the Dodgers. Kevin with the boys in blue. He's got my Dodgers. Back on track the other night for him. And although the Dodgers do probably have to think in the next year or two who's going to close. Kenley Jansen not getting any younger. All right, almost done, folks. This little stack right here, then the those box hoppers in the back. We'll do, oh, break credit, almost forgot about break credit, and then recap. And that'll, that'll wrap up pick your team number one, full case pick your team one. 
So thanks everyone for getting into the action. I'm sure we'll do a couple more of these tonight. Wouldn't surprise me. They do take a little bit of time, so make sure you get in early and often so we can get it onto the schedule early and often. The leopard and another mini frame. We've got Pete Alonzo, Rick Serrano, and the Mets. Dropping the attic. Scary. And I don't know why that was flipped around like that, but there's Jorge Soler, KC. And we got Orlando Arcia for the Brew Crew. That's going to go to Matt Stubblefield. Star shortstop for the Milwaukee Brew Crew. I don't have a good pig impression. Oink, oink. The pig says oink. A dark tunnel. And the last, oh, last little bit right here. There's Trevor Story Mini. And Bill Mazeroski at the end. Let's see if there's any hand numbered cards on the back here. No, there was not. What about the box toppers? The box loaders? We've got, nice, Luis Robert. I don't know if it's gonna fit into any penny sleeve that we have, but there's a Luis Robert, that's pretty nice. Scott. The other box loaders. Yeah, the, there was a trout rib card in like the first box. We're going to do a recap. I'll show it to you again in a second, Dave. There's Javier Baez for the Cubbies. That'll be for Matthew S. We've got Christian Yellow. There should be two per case. We only got one, I'm afraid. Maybe they're like trout's worth two. Brewers. Matthew Stubblefield. We got Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. That's going to be for Scott. We got another Javier Baez for the Cubbies. That'll be for Matthew S. And the final one. Going to be Bryce Harper for the Fighting Phils. Dan with the Phillies. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Let's give away some money and then we'll do the recap. So let's flip back to this screen right here. So if you bought at least two teams, you get an entry. And then we'll use a new list right there. I don't think there's anything else to randomize. Perfect. So let's sort your names by your first names right here. Dan G bought two. So that's an entry. Jim Bly bought two. That's an entry. Kip bought two. That's an entry. Mark two. That's an entry. Matthew with two. Matthew Solway. Matthew Stubblefield. Michael got four. So that'll be two entries. Rick got four. That's two entries. And Scott got 
three, two count, one entry. All right, Sean, you're going to get a lot of uh, non-sport, non-MLB stuff on your way. All right. So let's grab all uh, 11 of these names here, put them into this list, and it's going to be top five. So five out of 11 are going to get $50 a break credit each. So the top five after four, three and a one, four times. Good luck. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. Three and a one, four times. After four, it's going to be Mark, Dan, Michael, Matthew, and Michael. $50 a break credit each going your way. Um, it'll be an automated email. Check your spam folders if you don't see it. It'll come as a gift card that you can use on jaspyscasebreaks.com. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm Joe for jaspyscasebreaks.com. Let's do a quick recap. Almost forgot the recap. There you go. I got some nice relics, mini relics, full relics. Luis Roberts, some nice autographs like Acuna Jr. Red ink autographed, 10. The Yankees had a couple nice autographs in there. Some more Roberts, Gwynn. That mini Brantley was hand number to 25. Lorenzo Kane for the Brew Crew went to Matthew Stubblefield. Vogelbach. The Clemens was hand numbered, 23 out of 25. Guerrero Jr. Chip Gaines. There you go. That was for Sean Maddock in that non-sport spot. Nice Gavin Lux autograph for the Dodgers. And there is that rip card right here. Rip it or keep it. I don't know what Jim Bly is going to do. He's got the Angels. That was numbered 79 out of 99. And then the Conforto that relic and there you go ladies and gentlemen that was full case 12 box pick your team one the brand new 2020 tops allen ginter baseball in the books jazbeescasebrace.com i'm joe i'll see you next time for the next one Bye bye